Hey, Quack. Hey, come here, man. Hey, Jeff. How you doing? Good. What's I was up? wondering if you saw the end of the FWA TV show last week um, with the challenge that uh, Dan Moreland put out to you. You see that? No, I'm always on the road with wrestling, Jeff. I only saw Dawson's Creek last week. Why? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to need that tape, okay? Of course. All right. Um, but what Dan Moreland was saying is he challenged you to put the FWA title on the line next week against his bodyguard, Jake Daniels. What do you think? Dan Moreland. Is this for TV, Jeff? This is for TV, yeah. I hope everyone in the studio will forgive me for taking a moment to send a message out to just two individuals. First, Dan Moreland, and I hope you're watching. I can't imagine you aren't. Where's it gonna stop, Dan? It wasn't that long ago you signed yourself into a title match just to get a crack at the gold. Everybody knows how desperate you've become, Dan. I'm getting a little tired of it, and all the great fans at the FWA are getting tired of your shenanigans too, Dan. But maybe you're getting a little smarter. You're not dumb enough to sign yourself into a match anymore. No, you're putting a pretty serious contender in there with Jake Daniels. So let me address you, Jake. You're a threat I can't take lightly. But I don't back down from any challenge. No matter how big, no matter how unlikely it seems that I can come out with a title, I won't say no to a challenge and you'll be no different, Jake Daniels. You're bigger than me. You're stronger. You've probably even been around a little bit longer than I have, Jake. But one thing you can't deny is that when it comes to the FWA title, nobody is more closely associated with one single championship than I am with the FWA title. I take a great deal of pride in wearing that championship, Jake. You want a match? That's fine, you'll get one. But I want you to understand something, Jake. I want you to understand something darn good and well. Take a look in my eyes and understand this, Jake Daniels. You can be bigger than me, you can be stronger than me, more powerful than me, you name it. The odds will be against me, and you know what? I don't care, Jake, because they always have been. I've beaten the odds before, and I'll beat the odds next week when I'm in the ring with you, Jake. Lightning will strike, Jake Daniels, at the FWA Arena. I came here for the, in the first place because Dan Moreland paid me to. And everybody at face is going down, down, down. And now, now Mike Quackenbush, you stand in my way. I've decided I want the strap. The strap's coming home. Mike Quackenbush, you're done. You're finished. You see, Hit Squad? You guys made the biggest mistake of your lives. First, you picked a fight with me. A lot of guys look at Dal Montoya and they don't figure, hey, he's not hardcore. He's just your normal average wrestler. I've been all over the country. I've been to Canada. I've done my share of hardcore matches. I'm not afraid to shed blood. I've wrestled for hardcore companies and I've taken guys down bigger than me. Then you guys screwed up even more when you picked the fight with Loki. The Latin assassin. This man can break anyone down. If I was going into a fight with 60 guys, there's only one person I need in my corner, and that would be Loki. Tonight, Hit Squad, you called for a ladder match, you called for a table match. We're gonna take these ladders, we're gonna bend them over your head. We're gonna set the tables up in the middle of the ring, and we're gonna fly off the ladders and put you through them. And after we put you down for the count, one, two, three, we're gonna grab that little girly manager of yours, Drew Lazario, and when I break his spine, I'm gonna feed what's left of him to Loki. And you can all rot in hell for all I care. True. Right here. Man, would you stop with that? Look Yo. at this. Mack them, baby. I don't... If that's not enough, check this out. Vogue last month. I Max really don't care month. about that right now. Drew, where's Mafia, yo? Where's Mafia? Ma well, I'm sorry. I should have told you this earlier. What do you mean? Mafia got arrested driving. I mean, he was driving. He got arrested again? He was driving the judge's car, but what's the difference? Damn, I told him about picking up them judges' cars, man. We got that tables and ladders, Matt. Don't worry about it. Do? Tables and ladders were going to be climbing all over the place and swinging everything. Look, but I man. got it taken care of. I got someone special. 
Someone, man, someone from my. You know I don't work without my brother. Someone from. You know I don't work without my brother, brother. No, you don't worry about you it. You know that. I, I know need you, my brother here. Listen, I need mafia here. Listen, I don't know. Don't get with me. I know, but trust me, you're gonna work fine with this guy because I got someone special. Someone from my neighborhood. Somebody that I know really well. True. That's what neighborhood do you live in? What neighborhood? The exclusive estates of Latro, Pennsylvania. Oh, brother. Look, you know what? You get your person. You get your person. I know. I'm going to handle my business. Low key, Montoya, you know, fine. Mafia's not here. That's cool. I like, I like, I like banging, banging heads all over the place. You know how we get down. Low key, especially you. You know I always stay hurting your little puny butt. Montoya, you're another one. I hurt you last month. You remember that, Montoya? You remember that last time we was at FWA, huh? You got that the head shot upside the head? Yeah, I remember it. I love hurting people, you know? So I know Mafia ain't here. That's cool, that's cool. cool. Tables and ladders match? Yo, your, bro, your boy that you bring in, he better be, he better be on the level. Because if He's not, level. if not, I'm going to have to. <laughs> he better be straight edge. Because I swear to God, I swear to God, Drew, you know, what's gonna you know what happens when I get pissed off. I know, know what happens, happens, but I want you to get pissed off so you can take care of business, climb the ladder, and you can win. One, two, three. Just tell your boy to be here for the main event, all right? Okay. Let's go. Adders and tables match. Here's some Monster Mac. Listen to him. aren't they? Well, I tell you what, that color works for him. Which one? <laughs> He's yeah. wearing about 55 different colors. And Monster Max, like, I've got to go into a war with this guy? And Hot Shot's trying to explain how tough he is, how he's from the old school neighborhood, but I think that uh, finally the uh, the two different neighborhoods, Brooklyn and Latrobe, <laughs> we're seeing the difference right here. Maybe Mace Mendoza should have been in the ladies' match we just saw a couple of moments ago. Maybe he would have fit that better. Oh, boy. I wouldn't want this spectacle to ruin that match. Key and Don Montoya, tables and ladders are legal. Hot 
I can't see where the hit squad went. Well, one half of the hit squad and then Mace Mendoza, whatever you want to call him. Now we're waiting for Loki and Dom Montoya, and there's a lot of bad blood, Jeff, between between Montoya, Loki, and, and also the hit squad, and also Drew Lazario. That's right, Loki really has had his problems with Drew Lazario. That's and here they hard. come, and here we go, here oh. we go. Oh, they ambushed him, Marcy. As oh. soon as Loki and Montoya came out, the hit squad, we'll just call them the hit squad for now. It's not the original hit squad right now. Just as soon as they came out the entranceway. As Monster Mac taking over on Loki, and then on the far side, Mace Mendoza working on Don Montoya. This is gonna get crazy. Wow. Tables, ladders, all legal. Maybe once and all, once and for all, end this feud. That's right, Hot Shot's getting involved too. It's all legal, folks. And now Don Montoya telling the Hot Shot to back off. But we're gonna see how this Mace Mendoza guy, eye candy as he likes to call himself, oh! how he's gonna be in a fight like this. <laughs> Loki, with his intense style of offense, this is gonna be just a total fight. Oh, God almighty! Big kick to the head, and down goes Monster Mac. Now, Don Montoya is now, he's moving people, he's, look out, here we go! Mendoza, ah! into the chair! It's gonna get nuts! It's getting nuts already! We're moving furniture in the FWA! This battle raging all over the building, I don't think they've really gotten in the ring yet. Nor are they even trying to attempt to use a table or ladder. Battling on the floor, Don Montoya working on the very colorful eye candy, Mace Mendoza. It's like a Lifesavers factory exploded on his shirt. <laughs> and now taking him over to the merchandise stand. Look out. Hotshot doesn't like how this match has started. And of course, we're right there, FW we're right there with you in FWA TV. Monster Mac getting himself back together, looking for Loki. And now he sends Loki into the ring, but the battle going on on the far side of the building with Don Montoya and Mace Mendoza. I think Mace is crying. <laughs> I wouldn't blame him. In the ring, Loki gets out of that back body drop. Oh! Whoa, and a capo kick takes Monster Mac down. As you see, the fight is still going on with, with two count, but Montoya coming back this way. Montoya and Mace. Look at Whoa, you. Oh, hot shot, blindsided him with a forearm to the face. That no good, stupid. Uh, well, I can't say the stuff I want to say on TV. And hot shot sends Montoya into the ring, and now Drew is in this match as well. What? Here comes a handspring oh. forearm to the face by Loki. Now, Lazario actually teaming with Eye Candy. Oh, oh double clothesline by Don Montoya. Good for Drew Lazario. Montoya taking over here. Now, Montoya and Loki have never teamed up, but in this case, it really doesn't matter because there's no tags. Oh. Wow. Kick to the gut in the form of the back of the head. Now, Loki hooks him up. Could be going for the Key Crusher 99 right off the bat. Oh! No! He just crushed him into the corner. Whoa, whoa, oh, listen to that clothesline. Man. I love this fight. <laughs> and no one has even, even came close to using a ladder yet. Or a table. I think we saw the clothesline from Compton there by Monster Mac. As bodies are lying all over the place, RC, and this match is not... Oh! oh! Only three minutes old and a tremendous tope by the huge Monster Mac. Boy, what a great move for a big guy like that. Yeah, it's amazing what these guys can do as this battle raging all over the place. And of course, a lot of times in the ladder match, you have to climb up and get something. No, the, uh, this is, match is gonna end with a pin in the ring. It's just there for a weapon, I love it. Look at Montoya, what is he thinking? Oh, God! Jeez! Plancha to the floor by Don Montoya. Fans chanting FWA, Montoya has actually lost even more weight. He's lost 10 more pounds, uh -oh. down to 265. Oh, here comes the ladder. There we go. I'm saying Montoya can do even more aerial stuff that he couldn't do before when he was like 380 or whatever yeah, he was. Yeah, he's very agile now. But now Mace Mendoza setting up the ladder. What's he setting it up for? Look at, look at Mace Mendoza. Battle going on to the floor, but looks like eye candy's ready to take to the air. Oh, oh God. Wow, 
he wiped out everybody with a plancha off the ladder. As the crowd started chanting FWA, this is FWA TV, wrestling oh, fans. But now Loki's getting the bigger ladder, and he might have wiped out the timekeeper with it. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> Referee's got to watch out, too. They're just throwing ladders everywhere. Fans so much behind Loki, they respect his ability so much. And when Hotshot fired Loki uh, several months ago, the fans really got behind him. And that's when the hit squad came in to take out Loki. But Loki hasn't gone down without a fight. I don't, I don't want to talk about Loki's size, but he threw away the smaller ladder. Look at the ladder he got. He's going way up top. You, my God almighty, he's almost in the rafters. Everybody's trying to recover on the floor. Oh, no. Loki's standing oh, on top. Oh, no. Oh, no. No way. Oh, no. Oh, God almighty! God almighty! Can you believe that? No. I... Oh! A somersault plancha from oh. the tall ladder. He was actually standing on the roof of that ladder. Oh. And everybody's got to be unconscious by now. Oh, I'm exhausted. No, Montoya's crawling back in the ring. Somebody could actually move. That was... An incredible daredevil move by Loki. Oh. He just impresses us more and more. He, he shocked us with that one. Jeff, I've never seen anything like that before. Oh, man. The height of that ladder. Monster Mac making his way back into the ring. I'm surprised these guys are still in this match. Someone is standing up. And that ladder was actually set up in the ring. That may have yes. been like 25 feet. Here comes. Sort of a, there was a roaring elbow a la Masato Tanaka by Don Montoya. Oh, three was on the way down, but Monster Mac kicked out. Montoya with a lot of Japanese influences, that's where he got that roaring elbow. And Mace and Loki, they're up now. Can you believe that? Wow, I can't believe that. I think Hotshot might still be down. Montoya is now saying he's going to do, he's going to use the ladder. That's propped up in the corner, Jeff. Wow, here we go. Monster Mac went in hard into that ladder. Those are, it's a hard, thick metal steel ladder that they're using this week. And now the fans are chanting and pointing at the table. It's not just a ladder match, it's a table and ladder match. Oh, Montoya was going for it, but he got a low blow. Yeah. Monster Mac taking control here with the ladder. Montoya better look out. Oh, he's setting it up in a very bad place. Oh, that can't be good. Uh-oh. No. I'm... Hotshot likes this, and there's a chair. Now it's a tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh, my. <laughs> oh! oh, man. Oh. And... He used that chair like a baseball bat. And Drew Lazario, you know he's liking that. Or really, actually, he sort of used it like a golf club. He's saying, I'm Tiger Woods. <laughs> man, oh, man. Jeff, what else can we see in this match? I'm afraid to even find out. I've already seen two things that I've never seen before. Someone's going to get hurt this week on FWA TV. And we knew it was gonna, this was going to be like this because of the bad blood with all these members involved, all these people. Mac, Monster Mac with a chair. God, he's wheedling a chair. Oh. Meanwhile, Loki is trying to put away Mace Mendoza. He's going to try to hook him up for the Key Crusher 99. But Mace Mendoza got out of it and lands the low blow. Hotshot trying to encourage his men in and out of the ring. Boy, oh boy, setting up for an exploder suplex. I tell you. Oh. Whoa. Montoya's swinging a chair. Oh, another one. What? Two count there. One Action more, in and one out. more. Oh, God. Man, he just cracked it over Monster Max's head. Wow. Those guys have really had a lot of bad blood. Brain buster by eye candy, Mace Mendoza. He's not eye candy for me. I don't know why. You, is he eye candy for you? Well, no, that's his nickname. <laughs> now he's me. setting up the ladder on low key. He may be eye candy for Drew Lazari. Now setting up the ladder. Oh. Ouch, and he drops the elbow. That's got to hurt him, too. I don't know how, that's, how smart that was. Maybe not. Wait Mont a minute. Montoya now sitting up. Setting up. Monster Mac on the table on the outside. Oh, he's over on the other side. Monster Mac got up off the table, though. Oh. Low blow. 
Oh, man. And that's how uh, Montoya got into this feud, as uh, he and Monster Mac trading table shots on each other. I'll tell you what, this Mace Mendoza, he's not too bad for being one of Drew's friends. Yeah, he didn't look very uh, tough when he came out here to its reigning men, but he showed he can fight. And you got to wonder if he can uh, come up with a win, if he'll be a, a third member of this hit squad. Oh, Spinebuster on the ladder. Man, oh man, that could blow out a back. Now look at him climbing up. Oh, uh, now he's setting up. Oh, he's going to go for it. Bottoms up. That's what he calls it. Oh. Three was on the way down. Loki coming in. And, and, and I think Montoya had more instinct than anything just to kick out. But Montoya's in bad shape. What? There's the bomb threat. Good God. What a week so far on FWA TV. Oh, geez. With a match like this to cap everything off. One, two. And Loki puts his foot on the ropes. Drew has been talking about bringing in this eye candy guy. He was telling me about some of his moves, like that huge bottoms up la uh, elbow that he just did <laughs> off the ladder. And I'm assuming later on tonight there'll be a different kind of bottoms up with Hot Shot and Mace. Oh, let's hope not. Let's not go there, though. Let's not even think about it. And now Montoya saving himself from getting rammed into that ladder, and Montoya trying to fight both men off at the same time. So far, no tables have been used. Look at this. He's wearing that ladder. What? What is? It's like a ladder sandwich going on here. Oh, oh man. That's very, very dangerous. Both men. He, he's wearing a... A ladder collar there <laughs> for both of them. Loki's saying, we're not going to wait for the table anymore. Let's bring it into the ring. Oh, man. Boy, these guys, when you sign up for a match like this, it just shows that you're willing to do anything to win. And that's what we've seen out of the hit squad. Senton by Montoya. Great agility by him. But we've always known the hit squads like this. They have no conscience. They'll do anything to win a match. But it's very impressive how Loki and Don Montoya have come up and met the hit squad on their own terms. Oh, yeah. You want to fight? I'll tell you what. You, picking Loki as a partner for a fight isn't too bad. Nor is a Don Montoya picking him. Not too bad. And RC, I think it's table time. Is it table time? Montoya setting up Monster Mac on the table. Ooh. Loki's out now. And now, what's Montoya going to do with the ladder? Wait, I don't think Montoya knows our Mace is over there by, by his partner. Trying to wake him up. And he's gotten him off the table. That's the second time Monster Mac has gotten him off of a table. And Montoya's not seeing any of this. Hot Shot's distracting him. Wait, now, now they're... Well, They've now. totally changed things around here. They've got the table in the corner. Uh-oh. Look out! Oh, God! He powerbombed him through the table. And his own partner was on the other side of that table, and he got whacked in the head. He just doesn't care. Oh, boy. Powerbomb through the table, and Montoya may be unconscious. I think he is. I, Montoya, he's, oh, he's hurt badly. I think Loki's got to fight the rest of this match himself. Montoya's in bad shape. He is out. Referee trying to wake him up. We may need some help for him. But Loki fighting desperately here. Going up that big ladder again. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. oh, man. Loki almost tumbled backwards off that thing. Oh, man. This is crazy. Loki almost just just went flying backwards. And it could still happen. God, what, what is? Loki's, Please. Loki's got nobody to help him up there. Please. I'm. Someone's going to get hurt here. Oh, geez. I can't. But what is May setting up for? I'm afraid to ask. Montoya struggling to regain consciousness. Oh, Jeff, this is, you know, but Drew, maybe the FWA should step in and stop this. I think so. I think it's too late now, actually. Hot Shot brought another table in. Montoya trying to fight back, but I don't know how much energy he's got left. Now Something... that table is set up. Look at this. It looks like Loki is trying to battle his way back here. What is Mason oh, and Loki man. setting up for? What's he going to go for here? I have no idea. I have no idea. Loki's got it set up here, but can he land a move off this ladder? Oh! Baseball slide into the ladder, took out Monster Mac and Hot Shot. Now look at, look, 
Where's he going? Montoya's gonna help out here. Where's he going? Oh, no, no. They're setting up that table. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, Jesus. Key Crusher 99 through the table. Oh, my God. Oh, Jeff. Oh, man. Key Crusher through the table. Oh, what a way to end this week on FWA TV. Unbelievable war, Loki and Don Montoya coming up with a win over the reconfigured hit squad. Mace Mendoza looked very good in there, but he and Monster Mac finally went down, and now we need some help for these guys. Oh, wrestling fans, we'll be right back with more FWA TV. Wow. <laughs> Mike Quackenbush, P.T. Barnum once said, there is a sucker born every moment, and you, my friend, have fallen into my trap. <laughs> I can't believe that you've accepted Jake Daniels' challenge for my FWA belt. <laughs> Mike Quackenbush, you forgot I'm the president of the Future Wrestling Alliance. Therefore, I make the rules. And for that reason, <laughs> once the night is over, I will be putting my FWA belt in my briefcase. <laughs> See, Mike, since I'm the president, I have spent a lot of money. Coming up, I hired a consulting firm to come up with some possible stipulation matches for your title defense. Let's see what we have here. Uh, a dog kennel match. Uh, no, uh, uh, Judy Bagwell on a pole match. Uh, uh, evening gal match. No, I don't think that'll do. Uh, Carson City silver dollar match. A flag match. Idiots! Morons! Uh, Mike Quackenbush, if you want to find out what your title match will be, the stipulation, you will have to tune in next week on FWA TV on RCN, and I'll make sure it's a good one. Thank you very much! Morons! Wrestling fans, what a great match, the ladders and tables match here this week on FWA TV. Now, due to the time constraints of that match, we'll try to bring you that ladies match some other week here on FWA TV. But coming up, not next week, but October the 19th, mark that down, October the 19th, we'll have that huge FWA title match between Jake Daniels and Lightning Mike Quackenbush. October 19th. Make sure you mark that down. For my partner, Jeff Gorman, I'm RC, and we'll see you October 19th right here on RCN Cable on FWA TV.